Okay, so here we are here. This is kind of just an informative video, but there's some interesting stuff. So here, we got the woman making the symbol of the two pillars, because the center one is broke, right? So here she is, she's doing this, and we know, you notice you've got red opposite blue. It's, it's, it's the same thing, they ain't changed this shit in thousands of years. Here's Sandy Hook. You got a woman, red opposite blue, right? Center, center column, everything else is burned up around it. Can't, can't get the center pillar to work, but it's, it's still there. Show this to you this morning. Right, left pillar, red and blue, opposites, always. Saturn, what is buddies? Red and blue here. Okay, the four seasons, I thought it was Frankie Valley, but I guess it was Saturn. Next, here's this fucking fat ass fucking disgusting pig. I'd like to punch your fucking teeth out. Fucking scumbag. Dancing with the stars. Stars, stone, and trees are demons, biblically. Sometimes they're angels, but for the most part, they're, they're demonic entities. Dancing with the demons. Well, you can see that she's red and blue. Got it? See? Those colors have those type of meanings. Here's Jesus on the cross. Oh, look who's down here. He just happened to be wearing his red and blue outfit. Fox News, red and blue. And, and it's, in a, it's a cube. The fox is six, six, and six. Remember the ox? That's that part of the cube that I showed you? The part that's broke? Here's this guy. Saturn alien black. The two pillars, red and blue. Here's this fucking asshole. See these three fingers? Okay, if they hold up the two fingers, it's the two pillars. If they hold up three fingers, it represents three, because three is another major number of Saturn. And, of course, you've got the lizard here, which I'm not real big on the, on the reptilian thing, but you could go with that. And he's holding up the same symbol. Here it is here. Here's the cube, number nine. Now, Eric of uh, Covenant of Love, or archaic symbols, whatever it is, says that I'm the evil number eight because number nine, the cube, is God to him. To me, number ten is because he's outside of this. But see, Eric's inside of here, so number nine is his God. And number eight, that's me. I'm the evil guy. So he even actually has a video, if you go look, it's called uh, the e Evil Number Eight or Bill Number Eight or something. You can tell I'm all broke up, right? Boo hoo. Here's the church. Okay, here's what people don't realize. This thing here, this is the this is the cube. So if we look here, if you outline it and you draw a line down, you're just looking at the edge of the cube. You see it? And so I drew I drew a, a circle over here, because I'm gonna show you what this what this is. If you can tell, and this is very small, there's four chairs there instead of two. Okay? There's two pillars, but there's really four. But you always have to cross the two. So we could do this. And we'll just label them. So that's the four chairs. There's two here and then there's two over here. Okay? And if we fill that in right there. Different colors. See that? So you got one, two, three, four pillars. That's that as it says in uh, uh, the occult. Saturn said, I'm the north, south, east, and west, top and bottom. That would be the cube, right? Here's the orb, the four colors. If we come down here and you look at your Windows logo, it's the same thing. But if we look at here, ah, pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Somebody already did it for me in a, in a different picture. This is where your swastika comes from. It's all the same thing, guys. All goes back to the same thing. There's four pillars, the north, the south, the, the east, the west, right? And then you're, there's your four colors. Let's look here. Saturn family earth tree from a show called Sailor Moon. And look who's right at the top, the red head. And here we have the spiral, and here we have purple. Isn't that interesting? How original. Let me go here, and you can see. Here's Sailor Moon. She's holding up three fingers. Here's three fingers here. Here's the clown with the red and the blue. Here's time, right? Here's the unicorn, 
right? All of this wonderful stuff, the kitty cats, all of this associated with Saturn. Not Venus, not Pluto, not Jupiter, but Saturn, right? And here it is here. Here's the devil waiting for the bus. And what's in the window? The number three, the number three over here on the Kabbalistic tree, the left pillar, the pillar of the dead. That's you and me. We're in the pillar, we're in the land of the dead. And this is my all-time favorite. I just love how they take Jesus and they crucify him with three fingers out. Isn't that real nice of them? I mean, they couldn't stop with the story where when they were humiliating him of putting a purple robe on him. No, they had to, they have to go and make it with the three fingers showing. You see, isn't it how wonderful? This is. Now, why are you seeing all of this stuff in the Christian church? Because there's no such thing. It's Masonic. The Masons build every church, every, every temple, every mosque on the planet. All of them shitty ass songs resonate at a certain frequency within the building that they're built because they create things and they bring things up and they make things happen within a certain space. A lot of science involved in there, more than you would know. Because, well, actually, after all, isn't science really magic? See, the in-between word is called alchemy. Not really magic, not really science. It's kind of like sorcery and, and, and science put together. When you go to the pharmacy, the RX that you see, that's really a P and an X. Because, because that's, show, that's actually showing you a dimensional chart of the third dimension and some other stuff. But it's pi squared. And if you notice, they always got that little cup with the stars coming out of it. Yeah. That's what you're looking at. Um, one other picture I wanted to show you. If we look here at Xfinity, isn't it interesting that they say Xfinity? An era of new t uh, entertainment is about to begin. This is a cable company. Notice the clouds, that's ethereal. But what's more important is, you see how they made the X? Because it's really a crucifix. The crucifix is an X. If Jesus was crucified on anything, it was either an X in this configuration or it's standing on end because if it wasn't, his feet would have been touching the ground. Uh, there are some idiots on here that are saying that Jesus was crucified on a post. No, this is their logo. They would have put him on their logo. They wouldn't have put him on a straight post. That's imbecilic, retarded, and fucking gay. Morons, quit fucking lying. Lion, Judah. The lion is Judah, and Judah is, is Jacob, and Jacob is Israel, and Israel is Phoenician for what? What, pray? What? What? I only hear crickets? Because Israel is Phoenician for Saturn. You getting it, you, getting it, you motherfuckers, you lying cocksuckers? We know. We know. So here it says a new, a new era of entertainment is getting ready to begin. But the question is, who is it entertainment for? I don't think it's for us. I think it's for them. And you notice it's X-finity. So if you, if you separate the two words, finity means in time. So it's X-finity. It means you're trapped in the loop, going round and round. Right? I'm just sitting there watching the wheels go round and round, as John Lennon says. How interesting. So I still believe in Jesus Christ. I believe everything else in the church is bullshit. I'll do more videos on that. But... Um, you better believe in Jesus Christ because it's really the only thing you have here because there's nothing holy anywhere on this planet. Okay, When you have guys that you consider to be the enemy building your houses of worship, how much truth can there actually be inside that house? Okay, You have to think about these things. And just quickly, for those of you that think the answers are in books, books are a great reference point, but what, what was before books? Thought. And the thought was put into book form. If you go into the Hebrew, it, it, you had the Talmud. The Talmud was the spoken word. The Torah was the written word. So before the written, before the written word came the, the, the word in secret of mouth. And so what happens when you get done at the end of a book? You have to go on to another book or do you use your brain? Because speaking is really what? Silent thought. So it really comes down to what's in the head, not what's, what's so much in the book. The book is merely a reference point for the mind to connect one book to another book and then fill in that, all that space. But for you people that, and you know who you are, Eric, that think that the answers are in books, that's where you're missing it because you're a one-dimensional fuckhead. You know, you know what the first dimension is? It's a point that doesn't go anywhere. It can't go north, south, east, or west. 
It's a point. That's what a letter is. It's a point. It can't move. It can't change. And so when you read, you're one-dimensional. When you think, you're multi-dimensional. And you don't think because you think that the answer is in a written sentence which came from, from secret or quiet thought that was transferred into word on a book. Because you are dumbest of this universe. You're an imbecile of global proportions. And that's why you keep looking in the book to try and find things out instead of using it for a reference and then letting your own mind piece things together. Books are a great reference point, And that's all that they are. Because you know what a book really is? It's somebody else's silent thought being put into word form.